From the mid-1940s onwards, Americans witnessed the second wave of the Red Scare, a widespread fear that the government and prominent institutions were being infiltrated by communists. Leaders of American Unitarian organizations were among the first to be called to testify about being part of this alleged communist infiltration. Many prominent Unitarians at the time did not come out against these actions and have been accused of aiding and abetting them. While many UU churches opened their pulpits to accuse communists as acts of solidarity, the silence of some of our leading ministers on the issue has been considered a failure of our collective moral conscience. Yet communist infiltration of liberal organizations was not just a boogeyman threat. The fear among liberals like John Hain Holmes was not so much of communism as an ideology, but of organizations being effectively taken over by Soviet-leaning sympathizers. And there had been Soviet-leaning spies in our Unitarian movement, such as Noah Field, who was employed by the Unitarian Service Committee. And then there's the case of Stephen Fritchman. Fritchman was an editor of a prominent Unitarian magazine and was head of liberal religious youth, the youth movement of the Unitarians and the Universalists. After a secret meeting of prominent Unitarians at the Harvard Club, Fritchman was fired as editor of the Christian Register, allegedly because of his communist leanings. But the jury is still out. Was Fritchman really a communist? Could our movement have done more to stand up to the Red Scare? And so many years later, why does any of this really matter? Although we affirm a freedom of belief within our faith, our covenantal theology tells us that actions are important. So we may not want to be so hard on those who tried to withdraw Soviet influence from our faith, even if it looked like an infringement on the freedom of belief. If you want to learn more about Unitarians' participation in the Red Scare, download episode 4 of the pamphlet, a Unitarian Universalist History Podcast. You can find out more about the podcast at pamphletpodcast.org.